In the second week of Lent, we're thinking about discipleship, about what it means, and what are the implications of being a disciple. Well, to be a disciple means to be a follower or pupil of a teacher or leader. The most famous disciples were those that we hear about in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, for example. However, they are not the only disciples. Christian disciples are not just contained in the Bible or are simply figures of history. No, we believe that all Christians are disciples, that we're all followers, that we're learning together from our teacher, Jesus Christ. However, discipleship can be costly. It requires our time, our patience, a degree of courage, a willingness to be challenged. And we will inevitably have to address things in our life that we will perhaps sooner leave covered up. And all that can feel very daunting, perhaps discourages from taking those first steps of faith. But you know, there's no need to panic. Everyone who takes discipleship seriously feels the same at one time or another. So we need to recognise that there are likely to be times when it might feel easier to give up. However, the truth is that we're not alone, that we have each other. And we have the Holy Spirit sent by God to be our teacher, our guide, our counsellor. Someone who comes along with us on the way. Remember, Jesus was tempted in the wilderness. He struggled, he prayed that he didn't have to go to the cross when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. So let's not forget this when we struggle with our own faith and our own challenges. Let's not forget that once again, whatever God has asked us to do, he's already done himself. <laughs>